Hi. Hello. Welcome back. I know. Oh my God. It's been like forever. It's like one minute I was there and now the second time I was gone. Yeah, it's been how many months? Like three months? Who is another me? Hmm? Never mind. Did someone join by accident? Uh, no, it's just the two of us. No, my name was just there. Hold on, just give me one second. All right. Hey, on. Hello. Hi, hi. All right. Let me just wait two minutes to see if anyone will come, and then we can start. All right. Normally, I feel like it was just us for the past couple of years, brother. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah, for for the last class, it was just the two of us. Yeah. But. Uh... Yeah, hopefully someone will join. Apparently someone else is also supposed to join. His name is Karthik, but Karthik who? I don't know his last name. Just Karthik. I think I might recognize him. Yeah. If I see Probably. his face. Yeah, maybe if you see his face. If not, then it will be us again. Yeah. So how was your summer break? It was good. How was yours? I mean, I guess it's still happening. Did you do anything special yet? My birthday just passed. Oh, nice. Uh, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just fixing what I'm broke. Yeah, yeah. What did you do for your birthday? Ah, nothing much really. I, um, nothing much really. My mom, my neighbors came over and we celebrated. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. No. Do you have any vacations planned or? I will soon because I'm going back to school this summer. Mm -hmm. Which oh, I don't you, have, you have summer school? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. And I don't want to go. Is that him? Uh, maybe. Hi, Tanush. Hi, Tanush. I don't think I can hear you if you're talking. I'm, I'm unmuted. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice to see you. All right. Yeah, hi, Tanush. Uh, is that how you say your name? I, yes. All right. You're cool. So, uh, how are you? Good. 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 How's your summer so far? Good. Good. All right. Nice. So, uh, yeah, is this your first time doing chess or do you have any experience with it? I've had this experience with chess and I also had real base chess with an another teacher. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. That's good. So you probably know all like the basics of uh, of chess, right? Yes. All right, that's good. So you pray out. But that's good. I think we had another person join. Yeah, I'll give them a couple of seconds to keep on mute. Yeah. You got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So do you two know each other by any chance or? No. Nah. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. You two want to introduce yourselves? Or? 
Well, I already know a little bit about him, but mm -hmm. just in, yeah. in not not in person, but on Zoom. And not he came to a bunch of other classes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so you both already know each other. That's good. Um, who are you talking about? Oh, I was uh I was just like talking to Sachi about um about like whether you two knew each other from other classes. You and me already know each other. Yep, from Python to Westio. Yep, Python. Oh, that's nice. That's okay. So, okay, that's cool. And, and you and me, Ion, we know all we know each other, like for so many years. Yeah, yeah. So we don't need to do any more introduction. Okay. What yeah. are we doing today? So uh, since it's the first class, you know, I just wanted to start it kind of basic, you know, go over like the pieces, how they move, kind of like a little refresher. Um, basic. And then, hmm? I'm more in the intermediate. Yeah, this is just like a review. Sure. So then, yeah, once once this is done in the next classes, we can go a bit deeper. Yeah, sure. since everybody in this class is pretty experienced, I mean, this class should happen pretty, like today's lesson should be pretty fast. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool beans. All right, so I'll share my screen. Did you do anything over the summer, Ion? Yeah, I, I'm from California. And so I actually went to the East Coast. So I went to uh, New Jersey, New York, Boston, uh, Washington, D.C. Like I had a huge little vacation. So I actually haven't been home for the past three weeks. When Okay, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When did you get home? I got home yesterday. And when did you left? When did I leave? I left, uh, let's see, June 2nd or June 3rd, something like that. And you came back on the 5th? No, I came back yesterday. Oh, what was, right. what was, what was oh yeah, Tanush. Oh, feel free to unmute yourself, by the way. Uh, you don't have to raise your hand and stuff. Yeah. You, if you have a question or anything to say, you can just directly say it. Yep. How old are you? And what point are you in? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm 17. Um, I'm going into my senior year. So I just finished junior year. So, yeah, going into 12th grade. So. Me too. I, oh, that's nice. I, I already finished 12th grade. Nice. I yeah, graduated. yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did how was your graduation ceremony? Was it nice? It was good. Oh, that's right. Oh, I think we have someone else as well. Uh, Mohit, Mohit Ram. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Um, hi. 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 Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good. Great. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, how's your summer going? Good. Right, that's nice. So, is this your first time with chess or have you played chess or like done any chess before? Hi, uh, this is Mohit Mom. Uh, this is first time he is uh, in chess class. You don't know about any, anything about the chess. Just uh -huh. going to try. Uh, just you just you want to watch it. Uh, whether he gets interest, uh, it's up to him. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, don't worry. Uh, this class is just like gonna go over the basics. Okay. So yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. Let's start getting into it so far. So let me share screen. Okay. Yeah. So, um, okay, so chess is basically a game between uh, two different players. 
one one person is on the white side they get to move first and the other person is on the black side and they move second and so the basic idea of chess is that you want to trap their king which is this piece that i'm grabbing here and you want to checkmate them which is basically when you attack their king and they can't move and so basically they're trapped and so that's called a checkmate. And so when you checkmate the opposing king, you win. And so that's basically the aim of the game, right? But uh, chess, oh yeah, yes, yeah, Sachi? I have a question. Yeah? What if the kings are in check at the same time? What, what can so we that's do that? actually, that's actually uh, not possible. So- What, what do you mean? Yeah, anything, so let's, anything is possible. So if the if let's say um okay, let's say like it's something the position looks something like this, right? And mm -hmm. the white bishop moves here to check the king. For example, mm -hmm. black can black has to move their king or get out of check. They can't then counterattack or like they can't countercheck. Uh because as soon as you get into check, you have to do something about it. Okay, so what if they're not in check, but what if... Okay, so let's say, what if you're in check, but... But... But the, your other opponent is in check, but you're trying to move, and they're also trying to move. What, what should then, what will we do? So the thing is, if if you're already in check, right? You you can't you can't check the opponent king, so you have to block the check, right? So there's no way both kings can both be in check. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, back to what I was saying. So each, as you can see on the board, there are like different looking pieces. Um, each one of these pieces do different things and they have different ways they move. And so uh, the first piece um, here, I'm going to just clear the board. The board. So the first piece is called the pawn. So this is a pawn. And so it's generally the weakest piece and it can't, it moves basically its movement is the most limiting. And so it can usually only move one square up at a time and to capture other pieces, it can only capture one side to the diagonal. So don't worry about like learning all the moves right now. We'll, we'll like go over it a lot, um, but just, yeah. And so the second one is the knight. The knight is the trickiest piece. Um, I'm sure uh, Sachi and Tanush can probably agree with this. It's it's kind of hard because yeah. its movement isn't very simple. So the way many people describe it is that it moves in an L shape. Yeah. And so it moves one, two squeeze, uh, spaces, whichever direction, and then to the side. So for example, this knight can move one, two spaces up and then to the side here or to the side here. But um, this is a kind of tricky piece, so we'll kind of worry about it later. And so the next piece is the bishop. And so the bishop um, basically moves in a diagonal. They can move as many squares as you want, but it has to be on a diagonal. So as you see here, this bishop can move anywhere on here as long as it's on the DAG. So it stays in the day on no. Yeah, it can, basically. Okay, it cannot move anywhere else. No, it can't, for example, it can't move to the side like this. It can only move on a DAG. Okay. And then the Rook, the Rook, um, the Rook is a bit different, it can move side to side or up and down so on the columns or the rings so it's kind of like the opposite of the bishop
And so, yeah, the rook is a bit more simple. Um, to, the rook and bishop is a bit more simple than the knight. The knight is, once again, really hard to answer. And then the queen, yeah. you can basically think of it as a bishop and rook. I don't know. So understand. it can move Ow. side to side. Uh huh. Up and down. Uh huh. And on the deck, like this. That's a genius. So. Okay. So, yeah, it basically you can think of it as a rook and bishop combined. It can move on the diagonal or side side. So it's super strong, super powerful, right? But what if it's okay? So it's if it's super powerful, um, then what if it lose all its power? Then what, what will it do? What do you mean? So like you're saying the pawn is the weakest. Right. Well, I'm saying it's like weaker relative to the queen, right? Because the queen can move all these spaces, but this pawn can only move one square. Back, oh, right? okay. And so the last piece is the king. The king is the most important because if this king gets checkmated, you lose, right? So okay. this is the piece you have to keep safe. And so the king can only move one square, but it can move in any direction. But only so, once. But only one square at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what if it accidentally move or move two squares? Hmm? Well, I'm saying what if the king accidentally like move two well, squares? Well, you're not allowed to move it two squares. You can only move it one square. So if, if you did that like in an actual game, uh, you'd have to like redo the move and there would be some penalty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah. This uh, is like... Um, oh yeah, Tanush, you had a question? Oh yeah, just feel free to unmute. You don't have to raise your hand and stuff. Yeah. Yep, so are we playing another game? Or are you just teaching us the rules? Yeah, first for now, since this is the first class, I'll just be going over like the moves. And then uh later we can play some games, like in later classes. And so um I just went over how the pieces move really quickly, but that might have been kind of confusing. Uh so the here there's this really good website called Chess Kid. Um you can, it's a really good place to, you know, play games if you want. Okay, if you want, you can like play versus other kids. Um, you can do puzzles and stuff. Um, but yeah, for now, um, Sachi probably yes. remembers this. Yes, I love this so much. Yeah. <sighs> the times. Yeah. And so, yeah, for now, um, yeah, these are basically... Yeah, chess is, like, a lot of fun. Yeah. So, I, basically... I, like, I've done this in my free time, this chess kids, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, no, chess kids is a really good website to learn from. Um, yes. So... We should do some of it right now. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, we are? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so, um, so yeah, on. these are basically puzzles to like help with um to help understand how the pieces move. Can I go first? Uh, how about you go like towards the end if nobody get if nobody gets it because you're you're really experienced, right? So let's give the other kids a chance. Yeah, so yeah. like Mohit and Tanush. Okay, so basically these are basically puzzles, um. Here, uh, let me give you, let me try to share my sound or like give you access to my screen. I never let, uh, wait. Oh yeah, you can, they can yeah. get that access. It says, you, do, you see the three dots on top? It says request remote control. Yeah, yeah, I, I just found it. Here, so um, 
Tanus, why don't you try um, doing this puzzle? So I gave you access to my screen. So basically, you can you can like move my mouse and stuff. Isn't that awkward when someone controls your screen and like they are yeah. doing all the work for you, but really you have to do the work? It's fine. I mean, isn't yeah. it weird? Is it? It does it not like surprise you a little bit? Uh no, I mean it's fine because okay. uh, everyone's nice who does it. So okay, but let me let me read out the puzzle. So the rook wants to zoom to the other side of the board. Can you find a way to send the rook on d one to the eighth rank, right? And so basically, once again, how the rook? Oh, let me let me steal this mouse for a second. Okay. So basically how the rook moves is once again it can only go side to side and up and down. Oh. And so in this case we want it we want to get our rook to any any of these squares, right? Any of these red squares. And so is there is there like any moves that can get our rook to that side? Yep. So can we move side to side, up or down? Yep. So can any movie? Hmm? Um, audience. Yeah. I know it's not my turn, but I, I when I was reading the problem, I don't know, like, it's confusing. The what the what does it mean by eight rank? Do you like count oh. up to eight and? Do you like, for example, like if my work is here, do I do go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I don't get it. Oh yeah. So basically, um, so there, so you know that there are a bunch of squares on this board, right? Yeah. So there's a way we like kind of classify these squares, right? So you notice how um, there are rows and then columns, right? Uh -huh. So we call, like, this is a row, for example, right? This is the first row. So we call that a rank, right? And so you know these, this, these little numbers on the side? Yeah. Like one, two, three, four. So this basically says this is the first rank. This is the second rank. This is the third rank. Uh -huh. This is fourth rank. And so, yeah, this basically says it's this row. And then you notice how there they are little like letters here. Yeah. So this basically like shows that this is the A column. This is the first column, or we call it the A column. This is the B column. This is the C column. These these little letters right yeah. here. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so um basically, if I wanted to like say a random square, right? This one. And I wanted to say, oh, ta say the square without actually pointing to it. I would go to the column it's in. So that's the B column. Then I go to the rank it's in. So that's the sixth rank. So I'd call the square B6. Okay. Yeah. Here, we can actually do a couple of these squares to make sure like we, we kind of understand that. But what, so, did they, what did they mean in just like, the eight rank? So they by eighth rank they mean this row. Oh. Yeah. Like, like, like they're saying like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight is the last one. Yeah, yeah, that's what it means. Oh, okay, now I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, here, why don't we actually like do a before we start on um, the chess kid, why don't we try like uh naming a couple of squares? Okay, so I'll be, I'll, be in, I'll be back, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like this square, do um do you guys know what we'd call this square? Thank 
Yes, yes. And yes, six girls. Oh, is somebody talking to you? Let me click Zoom. I have it. Very yeah. close. I'm sorry. Oh, you, oh, you got it. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, is there somebody new? It's me and Matthew. My name is Matthew. The last six girls. Oh. oh, hi, Matthew. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, play, I didn't see you there. I used to play chess online. Oh, nice. Yeah. I read some of them. Oh, that's nice. I used did to you play. used to... What where yeah. which website did you used to play on? Chess.com. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's really popular. Yeah. Well, this is good. I'm gonna try that one. Oh yeah, it's called uh L I Chess or Lee Chess. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, it's really nice because everything is free. So. Except except for chess kids, they're not free. Yeah, chess kid is not free. Unfortunate. But well, yeah, Leech has... well, I don't know why. There's like audience when I play chess kids, it for me it's for for me it's free. Oh yeah. I mean some of the stuff isn't free, but some of it is free. Like you what can play you... games, but like what do you mean? I don't understand. Nintendo Switch. Hold on, man. I mean, like, not all, not all of the website is free. So, like, you're saying that when I got Lee Chess, I can do like the puzzles and play the games. You can do everything for free. Everything on Lee Chess is free. I mean, no, in Chess Kids. Yeah, on Chess Kids, some of it isn't, but. But some of them is. Yeah, some of it is free. So you're saying on Chess Kids, I can like do the puzzles and the games. Yeah, only so, only like a little bit. Like you can't you can't do like as many puzzles as you want. There's a limit. Like oh, okay. I think it's something like ten puzzles a day or something. So it's it's not amazing, but oh well. It's yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, Tanush, yeah, no no worries. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, I kind of got um sidetracked. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, it seems like Matthew, you probably have a lot of experience with chess. So yeah, right now we're just going over how the pieces move and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, I kind of like circled this square in green. So um, I was wondering if any of you guys could maybe figure out what what what's the name of the square. Rook. Oh yeah, yeah. This piece is a rook. But I was just like asking, what square is this rook? Okay, let's do it like this. What square is this rook on? Oh yeah, just feel free to blurt it out. Okay, um, D four. Yeah, D four. So, do you want to explain to us how you figured that out? Sure. So. Yeah, so how I figured this out is um I see the letter D here and then I go up here and then um look across and I know that was D4. Yeah. So do you both understand that, Tanusha and uh, Matthew? Which one, sir? So this square that this rook on is called d4 and so d4. basically if you look this square is in the d column right you notice how there's a little letter right here where my is mouse a is F or G? that's a d so you is a d and then it's on this rank or this row and it's the four four corners and sideways yeah does that make sense to Noosh? So there's D B D eight. Yeah, D eight. Yeah, that's another square. So D eight would actually be right here, right? Because this yes. is the D column, and then the eighth row would be right here. 
Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Does that make sense, Tanush? Okay, that's good. So yeah, anyways, um, back to actual games. Um, yeah. So do you guys want to do one more square or are you guys good? We're done. Right. <clears throat> How about you both? That's good, thank you. Okay. okay. All right. Then I will move on. So yeah. Um basically they want us to get our rook. to the other side. And so, um, okay, wait, actually, give me a sec. Chess kit is not working for me. So give me a quick sec. What do you mean? Uh, me what do you mean it's not working? <laughs> um, basically, um, I saw you moving that piece. Yeah, no, that, that, the problem is, uh, I think I, since I already um finished them, uh, basically I didn't actually move the piece. It basically moved for me. Oh. Yeah. So. That's weird. Yeah, it is very weird. Mama, you don't have a jet line. I need you to fix my hair. Right, not this guy. No, you're fine. It happened to me all the time. Yeah. So we're not going to do any chess today? Oh, no, we will, we will. Okay, okay, now it's not so good. Sorry, guys. You fixed it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, so basically we want to get our rook to the other side and so basically remember the rook can move. Oh, nice. Okay, sorry about that. Three, two, three. Rook to where? Oh, three. D3. Yeah, that's where I just moved. Three. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, that was a mouse slip actually. So, Remember, the rook can move side to side and up and down, right? So is but there any any square that this... Can it go backwards? It generally can, but the problem is it's at the edge of the board, right? So there's no squares. I mean, like, when it's in the middle of the board. Can it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can go side to side and up and down. But in backwards also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By down, I mean backwards, yeah. That's the horse. Hmm? That's the horse. Oh yeah, yeah. The the horse right there. Yeah, that's that's the horse or the knight. Yeah, it's it's such a weird piece. Yeah, such a weird piece. It's so hard to understand how it moves. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, and so yeah. Do do any of you guys know where we can move this rook? Here, let me I, let me. Yeah, I, I know I you know. So actually, let's give a chance to uh Matthew and Tanush and uh, Mohit. Okay, so uh, I'm not, so I'm not going to do anything, just them. Yeah, yeah. Just just give them a sec. You you you're basically uh you're you're basically a master here. So. So for now, for this first day of class, I can just watch, and they will play. Uh, no, you'll also do stuff. Just like, um, just let everybody have a chance first. Yeah, okay. So uh do you Matthew or Tanush, do you either of you wanna try this or try to get uh, this rook to any of these red squares? Oh Tanush, you wanna try? Yes. All right. Yes. yes. All right. Here, I'll give you access to my screen. So yeah, yes. basically grab yes. this rook and try to place it on any of the squares on the red side. Remember the rook can go side to side, up and down. All right, nice job, nice job. So yeah, you move your rook up and you got it to the eighth rank. Nice job. All right. Thank you. 
They shall. Nice shot. All right. So let's go to the next one. Yeah, two, two castle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So uh, Matthew called these pieces the castle. Um, so I call it a rook, but you can also cast it, call it a castle. Same thing with the knight. You can call it a knight. You can call it a horse. So there are many different ways you can call a piece, but yeah. Yeah, for corners for the horse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. So uh here, let's give um let's give control to here, Matt. Do you want to try doing this puzzle? Yes. All right. So I'll give access to you for, but first let me try explaining uh, what this puzzle is for everyone. So it basically says the rook on A8. So do you guys know which rook they're talking about? The, the rook on A8. The one that's on the left side. Yeah. So they're talking about this rook, the one that I just made red, right? Because you look on here, you see the A column. This is the A column right here. And then you look for the eighth rank. That's this one right here. So that's the square they're talking about. So they're talking about this rook. So the rook on A8 wants to travel to the square on H4. So they made it red. Nice, nice and easy for us to see. And so they're asking, can you find a path to that square in only two moves? So you get two moves with this rook, and you need to end up in that square. That Makes sense? That's a good that's a tricky one. Yeah, that is tricky. So you have any ideas about how to get that rook to that square, Matthew? Yes. All right. Here, yeah, I gave you access to my screen. So um, I don't know if you can uh, move the pieces. Or if you can't, you can just tell me and I'll move them for you. Oh, yeah, I think you're on an annotation mode. Yeah, if you exit annotate and you can just move these pieces normally, you don't have to annotate. Not that not have. Yeah, I don't, I think it's a bit tricky right now. Um, Yeah, here, why don't you just tell me what you, so are you trying to bring this rook over here? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's great. So your plan is probably to move this rook here and then on the next move, move it right here, right? Well, we have two rooks, you can accept me for a king too. Yeah, we actually, yeah, that's true. I, I'm surprised you know that. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, two rooks can check me. Yeah. So the thing is, you're moving this rook, but the puzzle is asking you to move this rook, this rook right here. Can you find a way to move this rook to that square? I have the a question. Grabbing um, right uh huh. Yeah. I'm a master at this, but if anyone needs some help, can I help them out? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, if we need help, I'll ask you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Sati. Very well. Yeah. Um, any ideas, Tanush? So, yeah, you can unmute. Yeah, so it moved this girl from A8 to A4, then from A4 to H4. Yeah, exactly. Uh, did you hear that, Matthew? A4. Yeah. So basically what he's saying is we can move our rook from here to there and then from here to here. So, yeah, I think you basically <laughs> understood the question, Matthew. It's just that you you were moving the wrong rook. But that doesn't matter because all that matters is that we understand how the pieces move. And you obviously are a master of it. So. All good. <laughs> So you want to move the, the rook? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if the iPad is working for the screen access, so I'll just move it for you. 
Um, but yeah, I've not. Uh... But oh yeah, yeah. You have is the little it pen. is it H four right here? Um, Which yeah. is it H four not right here where my black dot is? Yeah, yeah, it is. Then why are you not moving your work on that black dot? Because we can't move there in one move, right? If you see how the rooks move, they go up, down, side to side. But yeah. what the puzzle was asking for was they're asking you to get there in two moves. So you can't go there directly in one move, but you can get there in two moves. So by moving your rook here, you're positioning yourself so that in the next move, you can move your rook from here to h4. Okay. How did the queens use? In the data box. Uh, could you repeat that? Sorry. The queen goes all the, the queen goes everything. The that works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the queen. The queen is the most powerful. So yeah, it can it can also move like the rook and also like the bishop. Yeah. Nice. So let me change. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Nice job, guys. Yeah, you guys are breezing through this. Yeah, that's good. And then pop up. Okay, next puzzle. I do this one. All right. So let me quickly read this out. Um, and let here we can let Sachi do this one, but let me first read this one. Let um, me do it. Oh yeah, sure. You can read it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Oops. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry. Take your time. Oh, yeah. First, read the question before you move. Or read the okay. read the puzzle. Why am I in the pencil mode? Not sure. See? Can you see my pencil here? Yeah. yeah. Or uh, yeah, I, I removed it. Thanks. Um you're looking at me, the black rock is staring at the white rock, ready to capture it, but you can't capture the black rock first. I don't understand this. Yes, you can. Excuse me? Yeah, Matthew, you're right. You can capture the black rock. So okay, let me let me first rephrase the question. So um so you notice how the white rook can move side to side, right? Yeah. So it's actually staring at the rook. It can actually capture it. That's basically when you take your piece and you put it on a square with another piece. Or like and you just basically remove that piece. Yeah. Okay. And so the black the black rook is also doing the same. It's also looking at the white rook. So there, there, there's some kind of tension. They're having a stare off, you know, in the mid, in the Western movies where both the cowboys are looking at each other during the duel, right? That's kind of what's happening right now. And so basically what this puzzle is asking is, can you capture this black rook? Yes. All right. Yeah. So then go for it. Okay. Just give me one second. So you're white and you're trying to capture the black. Oh, okay. Um I'm white, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, sorry, just give me one second. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Oops. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Wait, let, let, let me let me control the screen. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Can you erase the yellow line? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let me try. And the, no, and the number seven? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me try this and then. Sorry about that. Yeah, nice. So you went side to side to capture the rook, right? Yep. Nice job. 
Whoops. Okay. I yeah. don't know what oh. just happened. I tried to go to the next puzzle, but it went out. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Here, let me just let me uh control the screen. Yeah. Sorry about that, Oh yeah, no, no problem. Two players. Hmm? You can change two two players. Oh, okay, wait. Let's see. What what is oh wait here? Let me let me stop the screen control. I think that's messing it up. Let me. Do you play chess dot com sometimes? Oh yeah. Uh I don't play chess.com. I actually just play on Glee Chess. Um that's the website I should uh, here. Wait, Sashi, just stop trying to uh move the oh, mouse. Sorry, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Let me disconnect it on my end. Oh yeah, yeah. No chess kids play, yeah. Yeah, chess kid is pretty good. Yeah, I used to I used to play that a lot. Um, it's but it's then, for free for free. Yeah, I mean, see, you you can like play games, right? That's for free, but um, you know. Oh, oh okay. Now I see what the problem is. Okay. 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 I clicked the wrong button. Okay. Um, okay, back back to our regular schedule programming. Okay, so look at these rooks battling. So they're talking about this white rook. No, so so the white rook can move side to side, up and down. You guys know the drill, right? So you notice how this rook is looking at this rook and this rook. So he uh, wants what to. About the, what about um this one? See that rook. It also can move side to side, right? Yeah, but it's not. It, it can't capture any rooks, right? So if that's not. So as you're important. saying this rook, the back rook is blocked by this rook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if this rook wasn't there, it could have gone all the way up. But the problem and then, is, and then it's getting stopped. It, and then it would capture this one, and this one, right? Yeah. Okay. To the top, catch the castle. Sorry, could you repeat that? Because the second rook goes right here, you get mm -hmm. you get another out there to two of them. Yeah. Okay. I think you already figured it out. Um. Yeah. So basically, what this puzzle is is they're asking you: Should I take this rook or should I take this rook? Which one is better to take? I think so, the, I for you, I think you should take the work on three. Okay, you think like, this rook? Okay, yeah. what about you, Matthew? Well, which rook yeah. do you think we should take? I go for the eight. Eight? All right. Yes. All right, two conflicting. All right, what about you, Tanush? You can be our tiebreaker. Put the three to wood the eight. Okay, so you also want the eight rank room. All right, so why don't you two explain your reasoning about why we should take the D8 rook? Because the rook on three, you mm -hmm. get to, to raise. Yeah, what about you, Tanush? What do you think? So if we take uh, the... the rook is on three, uh -huh. yeah, right here, you get. Is it a D eight? It would be better. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What about you, Tanush? Do you, yeah, why don't you explain what you're thinking? So if they do it on D eight, then they would, yeah, then nothing will attack the weight. Yeah, but if you take it on A3, what would happen? Then the A8 would. Would take the D1 root. Exactly. Yeah, that's also what you were thinking, right, Matthew? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think Sachi um, is taking a quick step out. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Basically, what they were explaining was uh -huh. if you if you take this rook right here, yeah, what'll happen is this black in their next move will come down and take this rook. Now that this rook is uh -huh. no longer blocking it. Yeah. But yeah. if you take this rook, then you just get a rook for free. Black can't do anything. But then you not but then you not that the um whoops. I was saying can you not that this works for free too? Yeah, but the problem is once you take this. Mm -hmm. Problem is once you take this, this black mm -hmm. rook will come down and take this rook for free. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's actually a really cool puzzle. Okay. It is. Yeah. And so I think this might be the last one. Can I do this one? Uh let's let's do this as a group since this is the last one. Okay. But can I read it? Okay, yeah, you can read it for sure. Um both of the white words are lined up and it both of the white words are lined up and working together. It's like two against one. Can you find a capture that will end up winning a work for white? Yeah. So what, what are your guys' thoughts? So they're basically asking us to capture the opponent's rook. So how, how can we do that? D8. Yeah, the rook on D8. Is that what you think too, uh, Tanush? Yes. Okay. What about you, Sachi? I think the work on H eight. So okay, how do you, how are we gonna capture that right? So can I annotate for one second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free so, to annotate. So um you see this word here, right? Where mm -hmm. I settled it. Mm -hmm. So I was saying that um if you go from here, right, straight up, right, and then the problem maybe, is though it can't go straight up there, right? Because the first of all, this this rook is getting blocked by the other rook. Okay, okay, That's I see sure. the problem now. I see the problem now. Maybe if this works, then move from here, and then go up here. The problem is that takes two moves, right? So in the meantime, yes. while you move here, Black uh -huh. can do a lot of things, right? He could even take your own rook. So the thing is with chess is you don't get two moves at once. It goes your move, then the opponent move. Your move, then the opponent move, right? So you don't you get one point. This. How hmm? is this in two moves? Okay, so... Only oh, the night it takes two moves of a corners. Yeah, like uh yeah, what Matthew was saying, it takes two moves. Yeah. Uh so but let how? me quickly do this or editor. Oh wow. Yeah, it's so nice. You can you can basically create your own positions to analyze them. Uh -huh. Such yeah, this is why this is why I'll always say Lee Chess is better than Chess.com, even though nobody agrees with me. <laughs> okay, yeah. so if a... so, the rook moves side to side, right? Yeah. So White will move his rook here. Yeah. And now it's Black's turn. Uh huh. You made your move going side to side. Oh, okay. B one. B one. No, D, this way. Oh, you're talking about this one? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, black could capture that, black could move, but yeah. Either way, it, it wouldn't look so pretty for white. But um, what Tanush, okay, what Tanush and Matthew were saying, you were saying just go for this rook, right? And yes. just capture it. Yes. Okay. So let me be kind of your opponent here. All right. Let, let me let me pick your guys' brain. So mm -hmm. if if you were to capture my rook, right? You yeah. you would get an extra rook. But what, what if I came back with this rook and captured this rook? Wouldn't well, we be even well, then? No. This would you take you to second one. You can't um capture your own pieces. 
Oh, uh, what I meant was after white takes this rook, I was saying, can this can't this black rook then take back the white rook? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and so then wouldn't we be equal at that point? So what was the point? Oh yeah, Tanush, you want to say something? Or are you just stretching? Oh, you're just searching. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So, well, I think, Matthew, you were saying something. So, if I were to take and then Black Rook takes back, what would you do? We, 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 we is, uh, what number is what? Uh, this one? This is no, first. This one. Oh, this one? Or yeah, this one? Rook, this rook two. Oh, yeah, the second Rook? Yeah. Yes. So what would you if do we, with this row? If you take this out, it would be out there to get another out there. Yeah, exactly. So this is this is like a really important concept in chess, right? So make sure you guys uh, remember this. That's so right. when you have That's multiple, it's a good thing to have multiple attackers on a single square, right? For example, if we didn't have this row, let's just imagine we didn't have this row on the bottom side, right? What happened is if I were to capture this piece, black would just take it back. And well, it's not nothing happened. But like like Matthew was saying, since we had that second rook, when we captured this first rook, we can capture back with the second rook. So this is where the hard part of chess comes in. You have to kind of see in the future, you know, visualize the next moves. So, yeah, so this is the correct move. And once he takes back, we take like this. So, yeah, this was a very tricky puzzle. Did you guys all understand it? Or do you guys want me to go over it again? I need to go over it, but slowly. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, what did I do again? I'm so bad at this. No, you're not. Stop saying that. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. my bad. My bad, chat. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let me quickly speed run this, guys. Okay. Speed run. Um, um, oh, no. And then... Yeah. Okay, yeah. So in this case, mm -hmm. so the white rook is attacking this black rook. Mm -hmm. And so, the plus you have to do like okay. And so, and you okay. Take it. yeah. And so, this white rook is attacking the black so, rook. And then, this black rook is also able to capture back. So, if we were to capture this rook, right, like this this black rook would capture it back. But that's where this white rook at the very bottom comes into play. Before, it couldn't attack this rook because this this white rook was cap was blocking the way of this white rook. Mm -hmm. But now that it's gone, if you kind of imagine it in the future, you can see that this rook can come all the way up to capture it back. So when we take this, this rook takes here, and then this rook can capture it back. Does that make a bit more sense? Yeah, but my question is, can this not move in any of the directions of the board? Oh, like wh which rook? Um, the one in um, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, just circle. I was saying. Just circle uh -huh. I was saying. Um, what if all the work was here, right? Here, 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 and here. Oh yeah, definitely. It can move side to side. But the thing is, but, if by capturing but the I was rook, saying, if, if, um, let's say, for example, um, three words would be here, right? And then one would, one would be he here. And if, like, um, my question is, um, if, let's say, if there was a thing and, like, and a pawn, okay. Um, will it be in check in like 
and it really block the direction of where they want to go? Yes, you can. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in check, you can block. To get the queen, the, the check makes for it. Yeah, queen. yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so advanced. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. Yeah, we spent a lot of time today. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that this is kind of what a class would look like. So, basically, um, the way I'm going to do the rest of the classes is I just want to... Oh, I stopped sharing my screen. Okay. You are okay. you are stop sharing. Yeah. So basically what I want to do for the rest of the classes is I want to finish the rest of these. So right now we finished the rook. Does everybody understand how the rook moves? Yes. Yes. Five yes. corners and six corners. Yeah, exactly. And so I just want to go over the bishop, the queen, the king, the pawn, the knight. After we do that, um, which I, I'm guessing will take maybe one or two classes with how fast you guys are. Um it won't take that long. And then after that, we can probably start playing games or doing some more like advanced puzzles. So there are these things called tactics. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that, but basically think of them as really advanced puzzles. And so, yeah. So I'm thinking and once I'm we're done with that, also, we can are do we that. also going to learn okay. about check, checkmate, stalemate? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to learn about all those stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. So yeah. Uh thank you guys for coming. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Um, yeah, if you guys are curious, um, if you guys want to do maybe do more of this, I'll post the links here. So in the chat. So let me go everyone. So this is this is a chesskid.com. Um, you need to you guys do need to create an account. Um, or maybe you can play anonymous, but, um, yeah, that's Lee chess. And for you, Matthew, um, I know you like playing chess games a lot. So this is Lee chess. Um, I recommend trying it out. I mean, chess.com, Lee chess, they're basically the same thing. Um, yeah. you say we ball it? Hmm? You say we ball it? Hmm? What do you say? Sorry. We ball it? Yeah, you can open it if you want. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just giving you the links just in case you want to do any chess outside of class. That sounds great. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, class will be next time, uh, next week, same time, Saturday at 5 p.m. For me, at least Pacific time. I know for Sachi, she lives in the East Coast, right? So it's 8 p.m. Hey, at least it's not as bad as like last time. Last time was so much later for you. Yeah, it was like way too early. Yeah. Yeah, no, because like you'd have like it would go until like 930, right? Or something for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys from, by the way? So I know Sachi, you're from New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, what, what city? City? Yeah. In New West Jersey. Windsor. Ooh. Uh Wait, I actually know West Windsor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You where do? are you from, Matt? Yeah. Um. So basically, um, I I know this guy who goes to West Windsor, West Winsboro Plains North, or something like that. It's What's like a name? high school. Um. His name is Ethan Song. He graduated this year. I know like a bunch of kids there. Um. Like there's this from the South School. I know this kid. Uh. His name is Samuel Zhu. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know a bunch of kids from chemistry and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, did that, that place to, is a really you, good school. Did you used to live here before when you before you moved to California? Uh, no, I never did. It's just that I have friends from all over the nation, you know, Discord and stuff like that. Yeah, it's super cool. Where are you from, Matthew? Uh, oh, just me. Oh yeah, Tanoosh, by the way, I, I do take um A B classes. Um so yeah, if, if you need any help, I can I can help California. you. California. Where are you from? California. Oh nice. We're from California. I'm also from California, so Sacramento. 
Sacramento. Yeah, I'm from Sacramento. I've been there before. I bought a tournament right there. Hmm? I went to a bowling tournament in Sacramento. Oh, you're also from Sacramento? No, I, I, I went to bowling in Sacramento. Oh, you were born in Sacramento. Okay, that's so cool. No, bowling. I played bowling. Oh, you went bowling in Sacramento. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. bowling is lots of fun. Man. Oh, that's nice. My family. Do you, do you, oh, sorry. Do you, do you throw a lot of strikes? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I can't throw a strike for me. But every time I throw it, it goes into the gutter. Same. I'm so... Yeah. Um, my Have family, a good day. My, my, my family, they're from Orange County. Oh, yeah, Orange County. That's a nice place. Yeah. It what is. about you, Tanoosh? Oh, yeah. By, by the way, I meant like... um. I don't know if you're taking any AP classes, but um, if you need some help, you can like ask me, um, like any questions you have. Because I've taken, well, I've taken mo mainly the science APs, like math and science. So if it's like history or English, like I can't help you with that. But if you have any questions with um math or science, I can help you out. Yep, I said from that, I'm from, how in then Massachusetts. Massachusetts. So oh, could you repeat the city again? No, it's a town, not a city. Oh, okay, okay. Well what what's its name? Hopkinton. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Me neither. Yeah, I was just in Boston though, like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. My That's cousin nice. my cousin, she her college is in Boston. Oh nice. Yeah, Boston has a lot of good colleges here. MIT, Harvard, Boston University, Northeastern. Oh, no, um, Have a good day. Take are the care. Two friends of yours that yeah, you know. Bye. See you, Matthew. Yep, thank you. Oh yeah, you guys are free to go. By the way, yeah. Are you are the two friends from the from um your the ones you know? Are they out of school now? Uh yeah, I mean it is summertime, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you next week. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Nice yeah. to see you again. Yeah. It's great to see you after so many years. Yeah. All right. See ya. Bye bye.